so guys this is my caramel cream and this will be used alongside with a very good scrub and also a very good body oil but i decided to film how i make or how i achieve this for you guys so if you want to know how i achieve this make sure you watch this video to the end hey guys welcome back again to my channel if this is your first time of coming on my channel hi my name is bukola and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for clicking on this video to support your girl again and please if you are new here don't forget to click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel support your girl so in today's video i'll be teaching you how you can mix your caramel cream and I'll be showing you everything I use so if you want to do yours also you can as well do it I'll probably write um, everything I use in the description box so guys let's move straight into the video because I don't want to be too I don't want it to be too long so I will be mixing 250 ml of cream so I want to measure it out to be sure that I am mixing 250 ml thing about your base cream why sometimes i prefer using base cream my the one i made myself is because of the fact that it is always thick take the hot road and hop in monarch butterflies you should open up i'm trying to put your heart together found it broken up Going up smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. So, then. So, guys, I'll be going in now with my hyaluronic acid this is the one i'll be using so i'll be adding two tablespoons of my hyaluronic acid inside this cream Hyaluronic is very good on the skin guys. I will not be telling you what all these things are working for You can as well browse online and check it and to know what it is actually working for so guys now I will go in with my So I'm using half tablespoon of glycerin because I am using 250 ml I am mixing 250 ml of my cream. So half tablespoon of glycerin Then I am going to be adding Agan oil is very very good guys. You cannot check what everything is used for because I don't want my video to be too long. Then guys I'll be going in with my 1.2 ml of my vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is very good too. But don't use much. I will not advise you to use much unless you have that one that doesn't smell. So I will mix them together. So guys, now I will go in with my Miracle Dem. So I'll be using one miracle dem. Is always make sure you add an anti-reaction to your cream. First impression. So I'm going to be mixing that together. I'm waiting for my carrot oil to melt. If you guys, so now I will be going in with my turmeric essential oil. The hagan, oil, the hagan oil I use is not an essential oil. But now this turmeric oil is an essential oil. So I'll just be using 1.2 ml of my turmeric oil. Okay. 
you don't use essential oil the same way you use carrier oil and i'm very sure we all know that so guys i will mix my mix it well with my essential oil then guys i will go in with my papaya oil so if you don't have papaya oil the carrot oil alone should be enough i'm just saying because of those that will tell me they don't have so using my papaya oil So guys, now I will go in with my glutathione whitening serum. Guys, this serum, this particular one you are seeing here, is not the type of serum that is going to like whiten you. I don't know how I can say it. It is not like the glutathione comprime fort that you all know. This one can also be added with your sunflower oil when mixing a glowing oil. So because of the fact that we are mixing a caramel skin or a caramel cream, we don't really need whitening, whitening product. So I'll be going in with my glutathione white. So guys, I don't know my fault already. So I have added one of these to this particular cream, but I will be adding one more because we need to, if you know you are mixing 250ml of cream, you need two tablespoons. So take note, I added two tablespoons, not one, please. I don't know my phone was off. Guys, I will go in now with my carrot oil. I just melted it. Because I have the butter with me, so I decided to melt it. So I'll be going in with two tablespoons of this carrot oil. It is a very good oil. Just two tablespoons, guys. Two. Guys, I've added two tablespoons of my glutathione serum, two tablespoons of my carrot oil, and I'll also add my skin freedom. Guys, this particular Skin Freedom Serum is very very good, especially when you are mix mixing a caramel cream. Why? is because it contains um, collagen and it contains glutathione and it contains propylene. So, this now I will be adding 2 tablespoons of my Skin Freedom Serum to this mixture. 2 tablespoons guys, 2 tablespoons. Spoon, guys. So, guys, now I will go in with my propylene glycol. This will make everything. This will make everything that we have added to this cream sink in into the skin and work and get the benefit of everything added. But I'll be using a tablespoon of my propylene glycol to this mixture to help me get the benefit of everything added to this cream. Propylene glycol is very very good guys, very very good. I have talked about it, I have a video dedicated to that. It is very very good. Then, all we have to do now This is how you can mix a very effective caramel cream that you're going to get the benefit of everything. So if you don't like your cream thick, you know there are some people that does not like their cream thick, you will you should add rose water to mix it. But right now I don't think I'll be adding rose water to mix this because I think I like it this way. I don't really like my cream watery like that. You can always add rose water to it. So this is a simple way you can mix. This is a simple way you can mix your caramel skin tone cream. So thank you guys so much for coming on my channel today. I really appreciate you guys for staying because I have been promising to drop this for a while now. Thank you so much for staying with me. I hope you all find a reason to stay. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.